Hey, I'm Madame Chamfrani, and welcome to the Green It Yourself guidebook series. Today we're going to start off from chapter 6, Knowing All Your Materials. You should reference this page, or this image that is repeated throughout the book, to um, understand what we're talking about. The first layer is the root barrier layer, and I don't have any of the latex paint here, but basically you have to buy an acrylic, rubber, latex, reflective paint. These can be purchased at most local hardware stores. And the second layer is a EPDM rubber sheet that looks something like this. And the EPDM layer combined with the latex paint that you paint on your roof will create your root barrier. So those are the two materials that you need to start, start your green roof layout with. The next layer, which is number three, is a extruded polystyrene. And this is like comes, it's a very traditional um, foam that you can buy in any hardware store. It looks blue, often sometimes pink, and it's a really hard, stiff foam. It's, it's generally called roofing foam, but um, you can just ask your hardware store guys, and you can buy this material at any local hardware store. You only need to put that layer if you want to increase your um, insulation properties on your roof. It is a very expensive so you may decide not to, or you may try to salvage some of this material. Your next layer on your roof is number four, and it's called the Protection Mat. And this is a GIY product, and it's a non-woven geotextile. This is one of the only non-woven geotextiles made in America. It's a really exciting material. This can only be purchased in super large commercial quantities. That's why we provided a GIY supply. Um, I think the smallest you can buy is 7,000 square feet at a time. It's 100% recycled, and we can distribute it through our studio at 200 square foot modular units. So whenever you know whatever you need of this, um, check out uh, GIY website, and you can definitely purchase it from us. I also have sourced the best protection mat in America, so you can feel comfortable that you're not buying non-recycled plastics um, for this. Basically, what this does, this layer goes over top of your membrane layer and acts as a protection mat, exactly what it said. So when you're building out your roof, you don't puncture it or step on your membrane and put a hole in it. It's a really important layer. It also works somewhat as a water retention layer. It holds a lot of water, well, a fair amount of water for its thickness. Okay, so we're gonna move on now to the fifth layer, which is the drainage layer. This goes over top of the protection layer. It works two ways. As you can see, underneath here, it has these little bubbles. Water can flow underneath this, and the way we position this, we position these little cups up. So what it does is that it also, it not only stores water, but when there's an excess of water that it can't store, it flows it off the roof really easily. Because we all know that like on a green roof, we want to have water enough for the plants, but we also want to get the excess excess water off the roof, because if we don't do that, we're going to have plants drowning, we're going to have rot, root rot, and that's like the worst situation for a green roof. This is another product that's very hard to buy at local hardware stores. You need to buy large commercial amounts of it, so you can also purchase this in 200 square foot modular pieces at GIYsupply.com. The next layer, which is after you put on this on your roof, you're actually going to put another layer of this material, the geotextile, but now it's called the filter layer. And basically you want to, over top of this material, you don't want these little cups to fill up with the soil, so you're going to put this filter layer over top of it. And you're going to create the little cup for the planting material. And this is a great material because it won't get clogged, it's designed specifically for filtering soil material, or growing medium. And it's, like I said before, 100% recycled, it's made in America, it's made from your garbage, so it's a really amazing product to support and um, use for green roofs. I'm going to go to the next layer, which is the burlap bags with the growing medium in them. So first I'm going to talk about the growing medium. The growing medium we chose for the Green It Yourself green roof is Gaia soil. You can see it right here. Gaia soil is made from recycled polystyrene, compost, which is of course 100% recycled material, um, pectin and clay. Yeah, clay. And it's mixed together and it's actually made in a farm just about a hour's drive up past the Bronx in New York City. Um, GuySoil.org 
you can go visit and get more information on them. You can contact the website yourself and buy the product or you can buy it through our website and it will be distributed through our location in Brooklyn. But just to be clear, this stuff comes in, you have to buy giant super sack bags, which, you know, in comparison of size, it's 40 cubic, it's 40 cubic feet, so you're looking at kind of like the size of one of those little smart cars. So it's quite a big bag, and that one bag does 200 square feet again. If you have a thousand square foot roof, your brownstone, let's say in Brooklyn, and you want to do 800 square feet, of this roof, you're going to need four bags of super sacks of guy soil, you know, and that is like potentially like parking four smart cars on your sidewalk. So you have to be really, you know, you have to really understand project management and staging and have place for all this material and it's, it's always a lot more than you think. So the next two layers we're going to talk about is layer eight and layer nine. Layer eight is a mixture of it's called the Nutrient moisture, la moisture Layer, and it is a mixture of compost and wood chips. I have some compost here. Oh my god, there's worms! This is Lower East Side Ecology Center compost, which is made in New York City. Um, I'm also on the board of directors, so I always promote them. But it's a great place. You can go, just go to Union Square and order what you need for your roof. Or, of course, I always suggest, make your own. And then, of course, you mix this equal parts compost and wood chips and you spread that over top of the burlap bag and that will give you your top layer of the green roof. The last layer, which for most people is the most fun, run off camera to grab, is your plants. And here's some examples of some seed sedums. Basically, it's a pretty simple procedure. This is a 72 plug tray. They come in about this size of the plug and you just slice with scissors or an exacto knife into the burlap pop that in, plant it. I just wanted to introduce you to our green roof kit. This actually has all the materials hands-on that you'll need to understand what is on the green roof. And it also comes with a modular system that you can actually plant on your roof and see if it's gonna work. So it comes with a book and everything you need to plant except for plants, which, because it's hard to ship plants. Email us for with any questions and I guess enjoy yourself and have a good time greening your roof.